Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this is your KWHS News. We're kicking off our news with today's lunch menu. Here's Miss Betsy. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're having chicken pot pie. Come on down and join us. It's really going to be good. And then um, tomorrow I had made a switch, so it's going to be cheeseburgers uh, with all the fixings. So hope to see you then. Have a great weekend and have fun at homecoming. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy's Students, please remember to return your free and reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy ASAP so you can continue to eat meals without any hassles. The deadline is September 27th. If you need a form, please see Miss Betsy or your advisory teacher. Gladiators, it's Spirit Week, and today is Royalty Day. Tomorrow is Blowout Day. Remember to wear your best Whitefield gear and show your spirit. Remember, Friday is a teacher work day, so wear your pajamas and stay home. Maddie? Thanks, Moose. Ladies, you have one more day to check out the selections in Becca's closet for homecoming. Get yourself to the library by Thursday for your appointment. Remember, you get to keep the dress. The homecoming assembly is tomorrow and it is scheduled to be outside in Foster Stadium. Be sure to wear sunscreen. And of course, the football game is on Friday at 7 p.m. at Foster Stadium, where our gladiators will take on the Cheyenne Mountain Indians. Let's hope our boys can add another W to their streak. Moose, when's the dance? Glad you asked, Maddie. The dance will be on Saturday, September 16th from 7 to 11 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Tickets are on sale now in the business office for $10. Maddie, that wraps up the homecoming information. Is anything else happening? Well, Moose, we have some yearbook news. Yearbooks are currently on sale for $55 in the business office or at yearbookforever.com. And seniors, mark your calendars because senior baby ads and quotes for the yearbook must be submitted to Mrs. Kennedy on October 13th or October 20th. October 20th is the last day you can bring those in if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. That's good to know. Hey Maddie, have you started your college search yet? I have, but I know some seniors haven't, so it's important to know which college reps are visiting us soon. Do you have the lineup? I certainly do. Several colleges, universities, and trade school representatives are scheduled to visit us soon and these visits are not just for seniors. Most visits are during advisory in the counseling center and you will need a pass to attend. Here's the lineup for those visits starting with September. September 13th, Western State Colorado University. September 20th, University of Northern Colorado. September 21st, University of New Mexico. September 26th, University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. October visits kick off on the 3rd with California Baptist University. October 4th, Colorado Mesa. October 10th, Paul Mitchell the School at lunch in Fort Hayes State University during advisory. October 12th, Hastings College. Luther College will kick off November on Thursday, the November 2nd, while Adams State visits on Thursday, November 16th. Mark your calendars with these dates and swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your pass to attend. Sounds great, Moose. Now here's Hannah Hall with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. If you missed the games this week, here's a recap of scores. The boys' Gladiator golf team took to the links in Woodland Park yesterday against the Panthers at Shining Mountain Golf Course and teed up some great scores. Regionals are coming up next week for the golf team. Also, on Tuesday, our Lady Glads softball team hosted the Mitchell Marauders and had great pitching and strong bats for the win. Catch the ladies outside at El Pomar on Thursday for a game against Sierra at 4 p.m. The boys' tennis team was also on our home court against Colorado Springs School Kodiaks on Tuesday. The boys' team tamed the Bears in some great matches. The boys traveled to Canyon City on Thursday for a match at 4 p.m. In soccer news, our boys traveled to Gary Berry Stadium for a game against Mr. Shub's former school, the Doherty Spartans. The clash was great, but the Spartans kicked in the win. The boys' soccer team is also on the road tomorrow to Falcon High School for a game at 6 p.m. against the Falcon Falcons. The cross-country team was also away in Florence and came home with some great new records. Cross-country continues to better their times with every race. They are scheduled to be in Durango on Friday for an evening race. In volleyball news, our Lady Glads came in second at the Mesa tournament and are on the road to Pueblo tonight for a match against Pueblo Centennial at 6 p.m. 
And finally, it's Friday Night Lights for our Gladiator football team as they take on the Cheyenne Mountain Indians at the homecoming game on Friday night at 7 p.m. at Foster Stadium. The team is on a 2-0 streak and hopes to add another win to their column. Good luck to all of our sports team this week. That's it for our sports update. I'm Hannah Hall. Now back to you, Moose and Maddie. Thanks, Hannah. Glads, remember the game is on Friday even though we do not have school. Attention juniors, if you're interested in taking the PSAT test on Wednesday, October 11th during periods 1 through 4, you need to sign up and pay the fee no later than October 6th. The cost is $16 and you can see Mrs. Albeda in the Counseling Center to sign up and pay that fee. The test is optional but mandatory if you're interested in applying for the National Merit Scholar Scholarships. See the Counseling Center website for more information. Glad if you would like to help out the victims of the hurricanes, you can bring new or gently used clothes and blankets until tomorrow. They also need first aid kits. Bring your donations to the display case by the main office. Want to go on a cool adventure? Mrs. Murphy is taking a group of students to the Galapagos Islands in June of 2019. If you are interested in this amazing trip but miss the meeting, please see Mrs. Murphy in room 123 to pick up a flyer. Finally, here's your club and activities update for the week. Student Union is now open in the library every day from 3 to 4.15. Remember, you must have a sticker on your ID to stay and play or work on homework. Science Club meets on Mondays at lunch in room 121. Coding Club also meets on Mondays in room 7 in the afternoon from 3 to 4 p.m. Spirit Club also meets after school on Mondays in room 502 or 511. Tuesday meetings include forensics in Mrs. Owen's room at lunch. Check with her or Mr. Elhoffer for upcoming meetings. The Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 and picks up recycling every other Thursday during advisory. Their next pickup is scheduled for September 21st. Our book club meets every other Tuesday in the magazine room. Their next meeting will be September 26th. Link crew meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays at lunch in rooms 123, 124, or 201. If you're interested in the Red Cross Club, they meet at lunch on Tuesdays in room 109 with Miss Shepard. <laughs> For those of you who enjoy tabletop games, that club meets on Wednesdays in room 160 from 3 to 5 p.m. On Thursdays, Junior and Senior Council both meet at lunch. Junior Council meets in room 166, while the Senior Council currently meets in room 101. The Pop Orchestra meets in room 750 after school on Thursdays from 3 to 5 p.m. Mr. Nell hosts the Cyber Patriot Club on Thursday at 3 p.m. in his room. And the Robotics Club meets in room 160 from 3 to 5 on Thursdays. And finally, the Guitar Club meets on Fridays in room 2 after school with Mr. White. As you can see, we have a great variety of clubs and getting involved is a great way to make new friends. Remember, if you have club news you want advertised on KWHS News or posted on our website, please contact Daniel Robinson or Dylan Mack in room 102. That's all for us today. Have a great rest of the weekend and homecoming. We'll see you on Monday with a recap of homecoming events. Until then, I'm Maddie Hager. And I'm Moose Santos. And this is your KWHS News.